in general about neural PD package in Jula. This is a package for solving uh, partial different equation using scientific machine learning techniques. And in particular, I will speak about software such as physics informed neural networks, pins, and also about deep backward stochastic different equation solvers. Also, neural PDE have a optimal stopping problem and Kalmagor backward equation uh, solver. But today, I will speak only about pins about and about deep based DM. So, deep based DM solver is a solver for semi-linear parabolic uh, partial different equation. In the general form, you can see on the slide the sum of terminal condition and we can uh, solve this type of equation using uh, our implementation in Julia DBSD. So, why it's useful for first of all of course, we can solve semi-linear public PDE, but we can uh, solve uh, high dimensional case, avoiding the <coughs> curse of dimensionality. And uh, for example, if we go into solve 100 dimensional Hamilton Jacobi Bellman equation, it will uh, take a few minutes on laptop, uh, it's very fast. So let's look at details. Uh, example with 100 dimensional Hamilton Jacobi Bellman equation. Uh, the equations look like this formula, and uh, for this formula, we have terminal condition G. And uh, in this presentation, it was less mass and more code and more result. result. So, uh, how will look like the code from neural PDE? And how it can be, and how we can solve uh, our problem. First of all, we define this problem, and uh, first we we'll define dimensionality of the task. In our case, is 100. Uh, we initialize initial value for stochastic uh, control process. We define a time space a lambda for equation like this lambda and uh, terminal condition and uh, also we define functions that uh, contains in the general form of equation f mu and sigma if we come back to the general form you can see the f mu and sigma here so and we initialize terminal PD problem with all this function and uh, define variables. Next step, we need to define solver for algorithms. And uh, first of all, we need to uh, initialize neural networks. It's two sub neural networks. First of all, first is U0. That's uh, actually is approximation, is approximation for our solution. And second neural networks, uh, this is approximation for gradient of U. If we again come back to general form, we have uh, this part and uh, this part we approximate with neural networks. And also we need a in define optimizer and uh, size of hidden layers. Uh, first neural network have input uh, uh, the same and dimensionality of the task, and uh, second neural network have uh, input uh, that equals dimensionality plus one. So finally, we initialize our algorithm NNPDNS and uh, also will be used in the our solver. In the last point we just need to run our solver initialize, with initialize problem in, in, in initialize our algorithm. 
Also, uh, in one of parameter of solver is this uh, algorithm for solving uh, stochastic differential equation. In this case, we using earlier Mariama SD solver with discretization 0 0.1, and uh, the training process will be look like something like this, where in X we have number of iteration step. In Y, we have relative approximation error. And we can see that error between analytical solution and our prediction solution will be decrease and finally reach some uh, error. And uh, our predict solution actually will be very close to real solution. So. It is it's all what I want to say about DBSDM. And next, I going to uh, go to next point, pin solver. Uh, pin solver like DBSDM is a solver for partial different equation, but uh, pin solver work with uh, any type of PDE. I mean, uh, general form of PD equation and it will be right like this this formula so also we have some boundary condition we have some uh, vector of coordinates that exist on some of the domain and finally we try to find a solution of this equation U and uh, also we consider the time is a special components of X so I'm not going to stop about mass and how this works. I just show example in a code on Julia and how it's work. So let's uh, look on example two-dimensional Poisson equation. In the symbolic form, it will be look like this. Uh, also, we have some certain boundary condition. Uh, on a space domain where x from 1 to 0 and y from 1 to 0 to uh, and in some of grid discretization the x equals 1.0 so first we need to define PDE and we use uh, for define PDE the modeling toolkit PDE interface and uh, for our example, it will be look like this. First of all, we set parameters x, y, and theta, where x, y is coordinate. And theta is a weight of our neural networks. We have a variable u, that is solution, and two type of derivatives, the x and the y. And the uh, equation for our Poisson equation will be look like this and boundary condition will be look like this in the domain will um, coding like this and we have discretization the exit uh, like here so actually it's the same like in last slide but we just uh, represent this in model toolkit PD interface so and uh, next step, uh, we need to define algorithms and and DA. And for algorithms, we should uh, initialize neural networks. Is it called chain here? And we use uh, flux package and method from flux package fast chain and fast tensor. Uh, and we initialize some neural networks with three layer uh, where input of neural network uh, equals number of dimension of the task and output uh, has the same uh, have uh, one because we solve one equation but if we solving system of equation it will be equals the number equation in the system uh, also, we use optimizer Adam. Uh, and next, we 
initialize uh, PDE system in general form using PDE system struct uh, that contains secretion, boundary condition, domains, uh, and uh, all variables that we're using. And next, we void uh, discretize methods that uh, actually represent uh, model toolkit uh, form in the inner representation for pin solver. And uh, this representation we using uh, next for our solver. So in last step, what we need to do is just run solver for pin solver. And uh, our case, we have uh, 5000 iteration. And after solving, we have uh, some prediction solution. And uh, in this picture, you can see analytical and prediction solution and uh, error between analytical and prediction. You just can see that what happened after our solution. So, and also I show Second example, two-dimensional wave equation with two Dirichlet condition, boundary condition, and one uh, Neyman condition. Uh, X exists in this area, and T also exists also from one to zero. And uh, skip all details about code because it's the same like in the last uh, previous example. Just go. To the result and uh, here is the same have some analytical prediction and error between the solution so uh, in this slide I will be speak about what was done on this moment in pin solver uh, first of all it's a realized algorithm for representation for model modeling toolkit formed to the inner representation pin solver and uh, at this point, uh, a low user don't have to know how to discretize method work. Uh, he just can uh, write PD equation, initialize neural network, adjust the run, solve. And second point that was done at uh, pin solar itself. Uh, pin solver for PDE equation for one, two, three, and dimensional case. Also, right now we can use automatic differentiation. For for this reason, we right now using numerical derivative derivatives uh, for first and second order. It's work very good for high order. It's work uh, pretty good. Uh, also, it support boundary condition, Dirichlet, Neyman, and Robin. Uh, uh, also, we can work with system of PDA, and uh, in this moment, uh, I write some some couple of convergence test cases. So, actually, much of thing was done, but uh, also we have very much things that. Uh, we we going to do in the future and i write here some of the future goals and first of all is the complex geometry condition right now we can use only quadric boundary condition but it's very abstract if we want to solve real task we need a uh, some constructors that can uh, initialize some complex geometry also, it's very important to uh, support polar and spherical coordinates and uh, instead of uh, create grid discretization, we can use uh, a residual point and uh, generate random point on every iteration of training process. Uh, also, it's really very cool uh, have ability to add the condition for additional condition for last function like for example uh, in Fortier Planka we need 
additional condition like the normalized condition for get relevant result and uh, also high dimensionality uh, also uh, combine a pin solution with grid numerical methods actually it's uh, very similar with universal different equation but anyway and of course automatic differentiation estimation problem and uh, improved pin strain strategy so this is that's all what i want to say today Thank you for your 